Now I'm going to be starting to put together my wife's warband. We're going to be doing some Sylvaneth. My wife wanted Dryad warband. I, I've been putting this off for probably maybe six weeks and it's a really intimidating project. I want these to look so good. One of the viewers kind of said it out loud in the Q&A video. I always say like, there's no need to be afraid. Here I'm being a bit of a uh, contradiction and not starting the only thing I've been afraid of. The initial response is fight or flight. And I would like to encourage you to fight. <laughs> You can see here I've 3D modeled and 3D printed some weapon swaps. These are based on some other Sylvaneth models. These will be a free download on Patreon, link in the description. So this guy's looking good. The tricky part about these is they're all archers. In Mordheim, dryads don't have bows. So I have to kind of work the pose around, make melee centered. Luckily, they're all like organic trees. So I can kind of get away with some super glue. The other thing is my wife wanted them to be birch trees. I'm going to be adding texture paste in certain spots to kind of put like those like black stripes into the birch uh, wood. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Getting it done. Ugh, that makes me feel better. All right, four more. I asked you guys if you had any questions about miniature assembly or painting, and the question I got was about color schemes. So for example, my D&D character. What I recommend when you're painting one miniature, there's no lore behind it, there's no army, don't worry about it just paint what you're wearing. For example, I'm wearing red shoes, black pants, tan shirt. This is red, tan, and black. You have the perfect reference on your person at that moment. I tend to like what I, I wear. The colors I pick typically kind of go together. Um, for this particular war band, like I just broke it, broke down for the elements as well. I just asked my wife, what uh, insects do you like? And she said, butterflies. What trees should I paint? She said birch. And then what should the ghosts be? And she said purple. So I started with a dark brown spray paint and then xenothaled on a tan. And that gave me a good base coat uh, for the wood. I then striped on some white and that gave me like this stripey like birch pattern. Um, I then painted on the wings white to kind of give that a good base coat and then kind of blotched on some random patterns of orange. I forgot that one. Uh, after that, I painted all the weapons white and then I did a speed paint of the greens and that just made everything look like it was glowing. After that, I base coated all the ghosts purple and then with a highlight of uh, red, ink, and white, uh, I mixed those two together to make a really hot pink um, to give everything a highlight color. 
And that really, I wasn't sold on the purple. Once I did that, it really kind of sold it for me. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Um, if you want the weapon swaps, they're a free download on my Patreon. I'm really dedicated to make everything free. And that includes the Discord, that includes every download on Patreon. And that's thanks to supporters on my Patreon, uh, like Leroy. Also, uh, supporters who buy my merch. Thanks so much. I wanna thank you all for watching. And all those links are in the description. All right, have a good one.